my name is Christina and I'm the marketing specialist here at Golf Quest. But if you've seen any of our other painting videos, you know that I am Golf Quest resident painter. So today we're going to paint an anchor. So um, we tried to do a cute little chevron background. So we're going to show you how to do that. The materials that um, you'll need for this one, I'm using white paint, gray paint, navy paint, gold paint, I got my water, I got my paintbrush, my chalk, and my canvas. So I'm going to put my paint on and some paper towels. Alright, so today guys, we're going to start with our canvas straight up and down. So your first step is you want to take that paintbrush, drop it straight into your water. You always want to start with your paintbrush in your water first to dampen it out. Then we're going to take it out of our water, just pat it dry on our paper towel. So the first step that I'm going to do I'm going to paint the entire background gray. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this flat paintbrush and I'm just going to do long, even strokes all up and down. Okay guys, so as you see, I've painted my background gray. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, blow dry it so I can start my next step. But if you have time, you can just set it to the side and let it dry and then come back when you're ready for your next step. All right guys, so my gray background is all dry. So next, you're gonna to wanna to grab your chalk and we're gonna create this chevron outline that you see. So what we're gonna do on our board is we're gonna make a V and then after you make the V, you're gonna go back down and start the other V. So it's gonna be like down, up, down, up, cut. All right, so once you have your chevron outline, it should look something like this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do every other section in navy blue. So I'm going to start with this section right here. So my top section is actually going to be gray. And then I'm just going to alternate gray, navy, gray, navy, all the way down. So what I'm doing first, you guys, is I'm going ahead and outlining all of my chalk in the navy. And that will kind of help you have a basis of where you're painting. So how I'm starting is I'm, I'm outlining and then I'm going back in and filling in the inside. Okay, so now I'm done with my chevron and it should look something like this. What I kind of did is I just went like straight down brush strokes then straight back up the other way. Um, now I'm going to go hit this with my blow dryer so we can do the next step. Alright guys, now that my chevron's dry, we're going to draw our anchor. So you're going to need your chalk again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of in the middle of this blue area and I'm just going to draw a circle and I'm going to draw another circle in it. Okay, so once you have your circle, then you're going to kind of go and draw a long rectangle to about the middle of the second blue part. So, have your circle and then your long rectangle. Then you're going to draw another rectangle here, but the difference is you're going to draw one line and then the second line you're going to kind of tilt your ends. Then at the bottom of your straight up and down rectangle, you're going to kind of start to curve your line out. You're going to do that on both sides so that you have that. Then you're going to make a triangle at the end of both of those lines. All right, once we have our triangle, then we're gonna curve our bottom line down to the bottom and we're gonna make a point. There's your anchor. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the inside of the anchor white. All right, you guys, so as you see, I have my anchor all painted white. Now, if you like it like this, you can totally leave it at this step and you're done. But me, I'm gonna go back over my anchor with gold to kind of pop it and make it look just like this. And there you have it, guys. We are complete with our anchor. Um, next, all you have to do is remember, a real artist always signs his work right at the right um, bottom corner with the date and your initials or your signature. And then you're complete. 
And remember, if you want to create this exact painting at home, all you have to do is come by Gulf Quest and pick up your package. We'll have the canvas, your paintbrush, and all the paint that you need to recreate this at home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!